Hey everyone, in this video we're going to talk about Kaiser Flasher rings. Kaiser Flasher rings are a common ophthalmologic finding in patients with Wilson disease. Wilson disease is caused by impaired excretion of copper. These rings are caused by deposition of excess copper on the inner surface of the cornea in the decimal membrane. In order to see them, we are using slit lamp examination. From this picture, you can see the copper accumulation around the decimal membrane. Approximately 95% of Wilson disease patients presenting with neurological signs, which means problems affecting the nervous system, and approximately 65% of Wilson disease patients Presenting with hepatic signs will present with a ring. It's very common for Wilson disease patients, but it's seen in other diseases as well. We will talk about it at the end of the video. Let's talk about Wilson disease briefly. It's characterized by copper accumulation, disruption or changes of the ATP7B gene is causing this disease. And this gene is important for movement of excess copper from the liver to the bile. As a result, we will see the symptoms. The symptoms are generally seen around 5 to 35 years of age. And it's a rare genetic disorder inherited as an autosomal recessive trait which means that to develop this disease, you must inherit one copy of the defective gene from each parent. And in order to diagnose Wilson disease, we are using two tests generally. Those are blood tests and 24-hour urine collection. 24-hour urine collection is so important because remember, impaired copper excretion causing this disease. So we will look at the levels of copper in the urine. These rings do not cause any impairment of vision, but disappear with treatment and reappear with disease progression. Generally, we are using two medications to treat Wilson disease, and those are penicillamine and triantine. Both of these drugs need to be taken orally and treatment is usually lifelong. And these rings are not specific to Wilson disease alone. They can also be seen in primary biliary cholangitis, which is inflammation of the bile duct. And it can also be seen in neonatal cholestasis. And that is the end of the video. If you liked it, please push that like button, share with your friends, and see you on the next video.